This Q-tip can do more harm than good to your ear. Yes, as we've been growing up, we've always thought that Q-tips should be put in our ear to remove that wax. But that is a no-no. The problem with Q-tips is that our ear canal is around one inch long. And when we put the Q-tip in, we're pushing the wax against the eardrum. So when we take our Q-tip out and we see all that wax on it, we say, wow, that felt great. Look how much wax I got on this Q-tip. But you don't realize how much wax you're pushing against your eardrum. So that Q-tip will take the wax and it will start to build on itself. Eventually it starts to get hard. And as it pushes up against the eardrum, it affects the sound vibrations that's trying to make its way into your inner ear because the eardrum is supposed to vibrate, causing those ossicles in the middle ear to send messages to the inner ear so it then can be transmitted to the brain. And that impacted wax will cause hearing loss, as well as tinnitus ringing in the ears and vertigo, that dizziness that you might be experiencing. And I bet you never saw this. Look at the disclaimer on the Q-tips box. It says, warning, do not insert swab into ear canal. Entering the ear canal can cause injury. If used to clean ears, stroke swab gently around the outer surface of the ear only. Keep out of reach of children. So what does this mean? That means that this is serious. This can lead to a perforated eardrum. It can lead to infection. But when we read the box of our Q-tips, which most of us don't do, it says take off makeup to help clean up scratches, maybe crevices in the grout around the faucet, maybe electronics. What about hobbies and crafts? Using glue, maybe to clean things up as you draw, for musical instruments, for baby care inside the toes, or maybe putting it in the umbilicus as we do, we clean our belly button. And that's okay. But for personal ointments, applying things to our skin, that's what the Q-tip is designed to be used for. So you're probably thinking right now, how do I clean my ears? The answer is you don't. The body does it naturally. Of course, we want to flush our ears and clean our body. And the best way to do it is not using a Q-tip. It's going in the shower with nice hot water. And as you shampoo your hair or you suds up your face or your head, you put some suds in that water inside your ear. Let some water and those suds get into the ear canal. Keep it up just like that for a short period of time and then turn it the other way and let it drain out and do the other side. That warm water helps emulsify that earwax. It helps soften it up. So think back how many times you got out of the hot shower and you saw this earwax sitting on the outside of your ear. Yes, take your finger in a towel and dab and wipe it out. That's how you get the earwax out. Because if you don't impact it, Mother Nature will take it out naturally. So clean it up from the outside. Don't put the Q-tip in the inside and you'll be doing your health a big favor. And one last important thing. If your ears continue to give you pain and problems, follow up with your doctor. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.